Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the best deals for next week at CVS and that is for the week of the 27th of March through the 2nd of April. We got some pretty good deals in the ad but it is a new month so the first week is a little bit shaky on trying to figure out what the new month holds. So We'll talk about the coupons that we'll be getting. So you can order those inserts down below if you would like. But next week or this coming Sunday on the 27th, we're getting three inserts. We're getting a Smart Source, a Save, and the April PNG. Now the link that is down below, they do still have some PNG inserts that have Tide included in it. So that's something to think about. We also are getting soft soap coupons. We're getting Nivea coupons. We're getting Eucerin, Garnier. We're getting a lot of decent coupons. So that's just something to think about, but there's absolutely no way, shape, or form do you have to do that. I just like to mention it because people do ask me, where do I buy inserts from or where can I get the Tide, uh, the PNG with Tide in it? So also I want to show you before we get into the deals, the Walgreens coupon policy regarding that Cetaphil BOGO coupon plus some good news regarding that coupon. So with buy one get one free coupons that are used during a buy one get one 50% off promotion, the best value to the customer will be applied for the coupon. This will likely result in the coupon being, being applied to the higher priced item. So that is why the coupon will take off the higher value uh, of the two items that you buy because Walgreens system is set up that way. Also, there is some buzz going around that all team members, all management have been sent a memo from Walgreens corporate offices. And it is simply stating that cashiers and stores are to take the BOGO coupon because Cetaphil is paying Walgreens for the higher priced item. So there's no need for cashiers and managers to give the customers problems about it because it's a legit coupon, it's a legit promotion, and Cetaphil is paying Walgreens up to $20 on that coupon, and it's totally fine. So you can give it a shot this coming week. It should be a lot better for everybody because this memo went out to all the stores. So I am going to give you a little example here of the Cetaphil. So next week, and it's probably going to be a month-long promotion, that's just a guess, just because it's so many brands, um, where it is spend $20, get back $5 in register rewards. This is for makeup, hair care, nail polish, um, skin care, all kinds of stuff like that is all spend 20, get back a $5 register reward. And the Cetaphil will be buy one, get one 50% off. So we're going to go with an expensive item and a cheaper item. So the Rich Hydrating Cream, excuse me, the Rich Hydrating Cream is $17.99. And the Oil Removing Face Wash will be 50% off at $5.50. Use that BOGO coupon from the 36 Smart Source and that'll take off. $17.50. And then you will pay $5.50, get back a $5 register reward, making it $0.50 cents for both of them. Now you always want to make sure when you're doing this promotion so that the higher amount does come off for you that you have the more expensive item rung up first. Now this is only a theory, but I have said this since we got this coupon, that the reason why that coupon doesn't have a cap on it, like up to $7.99, is because Cetaphil wants you to buy the more expensive product. And you're more apt to buy the more expensive product if the coupon will allow it. Plus, if you buy the more expensive item, you will most likely like it and want to buy it again without the coupon. That's the whole thing here with coupons, is they're out for advertising purposes and to entice you to buy the products. But we play the game a lot better than that, and we use it to our advantage. So that's my theory on why that coupon didn't have a cap on it. It's a legitimate coupon. We're buying the right products. We're not breaking any rules. We're following the policies. So that was my whole thing with this coupon. So anyways, give it a try next week. I'll talk about it 
um, in one of my scenarios at the end of the video, just to give you an example on how you can use this to build up a transaction. So next is the Gillette Shaving Cream. So they are buy to get back a $4 register reward. Most of the time in the past, they have been buy to get $4 of Walgreens cash. But the past couple of times, it's been a register reward. They're still buy one, get one 50% off. And I'm going to get this kind because the cheaper kind that was $2.99, the price rose to $3.79 online. So we're just going to go with this little bit nicer kind here that's still $3.99 online. So one will be $3.99 and one will be $1.99. You'll pay $5.98, get back a $4 register reward, making them $0.98 cents for both of them or $0.49 cents a piece. And I think that's a really good deal. Now the next deal is the Irish Spring and the Soft Soap. Now the price for this, this week on sale is for $4.99. I don't know if that's going to be the new thing because of inflation or if it's just this week it's $4.99. But these are buy two, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. You're going to pick up one Irish Spring body wash and one Soft Soap body wash. Now if you get insert coupons, the one from BQ Savings, they do have the dollar off coupon for the Irish Spring, and or not the Irish Spring, just the soft soap. But we most likely will get a digital for each one. We typically do. So we're just gonna pick up one of each for $4.99 and we're gonna use a dollar digital on each one. You would pay $7.98, get back a $5, you get back $5 in Walgreens cash, excuse me, making them $2.98 for both of them or $1.50 a piece. I would not do this by itself. I would definitely do this with a um, spend booster. So next we also have the soft soap hand soap again. So this is buy four, get back four dollars of Walgreens cash and this buy one get one 50% off. It typically includes the small bottles and the big bottles but we're going to grab four of the small bottles that will equal out to $5.96. There is a 50 cents off digital coupon that we will be getting. You can use that and then you would pay $5.46 Get back $4 in Walgreens cash, making it $1.46 for four of them, or $0.37 cents a piece. That is up about um, $0.13 or $0.14 cents than what we typically get it. But with inflation, that's really not that bad, and they are still giving us a digital coupon to use with this. Now next I have an oral care deal for you, but it's not the typical one that we get every week for Crest or Colgate. This one, when we have this deal, it's typically a monthly deal, but we won't know that until Sunday. So this promotion is good for Crest, Oral-B, Glide. It's a lot of items included, but the ad doesn't really specify that. It just says select, but it does have the Crest Densify toothpaste pictured. So I'm going to just say that in the Crest Brilliance, those are always typically included. So you're going to pick up one Crest Densify and one Crest Brilliance. Those will be $6.99 a piece. We'll get $3 digital coupons for those. This is all speculation just from past months that we have had. It does say we will be getting a $3 digital for the Crest Densify though. So then you would pay $7.98, get back a $5 register reward, making them $2.98 for two of them or $1.49 a piece. And even though this says spend, it is okay to use Walgreens Cash because it's a register reward deal. You can always use Walgreens Cash on register reward deals. So next we have a deal is something that I did similar this week, and that's in the Balmix, Balmex Baby Cream. It's a diaper rash cream. Now, there isn't a promotion promotion per se, but we are getting an IVC coupon. So that IVC coupon is four off of two, so that's gonna be nice because we do have an Ibotta rebate for this that doesn't expire until July. That's what it says right now. But anyways, you're gonna pick up two of the Balmex creams for $7.29 a piece. You can use two $2 off Balmex internet printable coupons that is linked in the Google Doc down below in the description box. You have to go to the Google Doc and it's in the scenario. Then you're gonna use that four off two Balmex IVC coupon you'll pay $6.58, then you could submit your receipt to Ibotta, and you'll get back $4 on each one because it's a limit of two, making them both free and a $1.42 moneymaker. So it's an excellent deal. And I did it this week and it was a decent deal, but this one is much better. 
So now I'm going to give you a scenario for a spend 20, get 5, and then I'll give you another example using the C to fill. So this one is spend 20, get 5. You're going to grab four of the soft soap hand soaps at $5.96. You'll grab two of the Balmex creams for $7.29 a piece, and you'll grab two of the Gillette shave gels for $3.99 and $1.99. Your total will be $26.52. You'll use a 50 cents digital for the soft soap. You'll use two of the, I don't know why it says four there, but you'll use two of the $2 off Balmex coupons. Then you'll use an IVC coupon for the Balmex. You'll pay $18.02. Get back $5 in Walgreens cash for your spend booster, $4 in Walgreens cash for the soft soap you'll get a $4 register reward for the Gillette Shave Gel. Then submit your receipt to Ibotta and you'll get back $8 for the Balmex, making it free and a $2.98 moneymaker. Now with this scenario, you will be paying $18.02 out of your own pocket, but I will give you another scenario that is similar that you can use Walgreens Cash, only pay $1.50 for, get all this back, and it still be a moneymaker. So with this scenario, you're going to buy four of the soft soaps for $5.96, two of the Balmex cream for $7.29 a piece. You're going to buy a rich hydrating cream for $17.99 and an oil removing foam wash for $5.50. Now you can grab whichever Cetaphil you want. It just has to equal out to over $20. Then you're going to use a 50 cents off digital coupon for the soft soap. You're going to use two, not four of the $2 off Balmex internet printables, and then the four off two Balmex IVC coupon. You're also gonna use the buy one get one free Cetaphil coupon that will take off $17.99. That'll bring your total down to $21.54. You will pay with $20 in Walgreens cash. So then in store, you're only paying $1.54. You'll get back a $5, um, you'll get back $5 in Walgreens cash. I keep wanting to say register reward for the booster, $4 in Walgreens cash for the soft soap, $5 in register rewards for the uh, Cetaphil, then you'll get back $8 on Ibotta for the Balmex, making it all free and a $0.46 cent money maker. Now the reason why you can pay with Walgreens cash, because your total amount of coupons is counted as cash in the system. So you have $17.99 eight plus $0.04 plus $0.50, cents, that all equals out to over $20. So you can spend whatever amount in Walgreens cash to help lower your out-of-pocket, whether it be $20 or $10 or $5, whatever you have. I have $20, so I would use $20 because I've already met my threshold of $20 with the coupons. So now we're going to talk about some early activation deals. Here are some early activation tips. If you're not in early into early activation, that's all that we're going to talk about for the rest of the video. If you're not interested, thank you for watching the other part of the video. So with early activation, they cannot be done on monthly deals, but this Saturday we are at a unique point where we will be between two months, between one month ending and another month beginning at Walgreens. And then you can do it if you have a monthly deal from March to April but um, typically they cannot be done together. Most deals can be done with curbside pickup and can be picked up on Sunday or even Monday and everything will work out just fine. Early activation is extremely, your miles may vary. It will vary by store to store and not state by state. My store here in town will work, but this town next door to not next door to me, but the next town over that store might not do early activation. The only way you'll know is when you try an order and you don't get any Walgreens cash back. The other thing is with the deals, they're not guaranteed ever on the weekend that it will work. So we'll have Nexus coming up and we have King C. Gillette as an example here as well. And those may not double dip. They should double dip, but they might not. So for example, the Nexus this weekend, it should double dip because there are deals from this current week and next week. It's never a guarantee, though, that it will work. So always keep that in mind. And if it doesn't ever work out, 
you can always return the product. So check on your Walgreens cash on the very last screen before you submit your order, not while you're in your cart. And the system is always slow and glitchy on Saturday nights. So if your Walgreens cash says zero at any point in time, that is wrong. That is a glitch in the system from switching from one set of deals to another. So always, always keep that in mind. So I have three deals here to share for you. And this is the Nexus. So the Nexus is a buy or spend 20, get back $10 in Walgreens cash this week. Next week, it's part of that promotion where you spend 20, get back $5 in register rewards. Now I do have a chart here to show you in a second, and I will also have it linked down below. But this chart shows you that with this situation, when you're picking your deal up as a curbside pickup on Sunday, that the register rewards should print for you because of the day you're picking it up. Now, if it was the other way around where the register reward was on Saturday and you were picking the deal up on Sunday that was giving back Walgreens cash, it wouldn't work that way. So we're going to buy two of the $11.99 items and that will equal out to $23.98. You'll use a $5 digital coupon, pay $18.98, get back $10 in Walgreens cash and a $5 register reward making it $3.98 for both of them or $1.99 a piece. Now, when doing this scenario by itself with just the $5 coupon, you cannot pay with Walgreens cash. If you have it into some type of scenario where you've built it up, then you can, but as is like this, you cannot use Walgreens cash. So here is the chart that I am referring to. So when you have a current week, where you're getting back Walgreens cash and you go into the new week and you're getting a register reward, you can do it as a curbside pickup after 11 p.m. or you can pick it up in store on Saturday, Sunday or Monday, excuse me. Now, if the current week is a register reward and the new week is Walgreens cash, you can shop in store on Saturday night as a curbside pickup after 11 p.m. The curbside pickup must be picked up Saturday night though. So that is why I say that you can do that Nexus deal as a curbside pickup. And if you have, say, any type of booster, you can still use that during early activation because that booster is active until the old deal, old deals, excuse me, I keep stumbling over my words, the old deals are done. So once it switches over to the new week completely, you can still use your boosters and get credit for it when you pick them up on Sunday. The new boosters though, you absolutely cannot use and I get that question a lot. So on Tuesday, I got this booster in one account that says earn $10 on Walgreens cash when you spend $10. So I could technically save this for Saturday night. Now that booster, not everybody got and I mean a lot of people didn't get it but this is the only booster I have that I can use Saturday night so I'm just showing you this booster. So you would also get back the $10 from this booster plus the $10 in Walgreens cash and a $5 register reward. So it would make for an amazing deal, but you would have to pay that cash out of pocket of $18.98 first. And the next deal that I'm going to talk about is the Colgate. Dear old Colgate, you double dip almost every week. Now, last week, when there was early activation. I did this and I did it twice, one on two different accounts. And I really wish I would have done like ship to home with a bigger quantity because there was some people doing it and it was like a $20 money maker. So I'm thinking this week I'm going to do early activation deals as ship to home because like with this situation here, uh, you can buy, you know, 10 of them and get back, you know, $45 in Walgreens cash. And you can use Walgreens cash and still make money on it. But anyways, these are going to be on sale for $3.99. They're going to be buy two, get back $5 in Walgreens cash. They are that this week. And next week, they're going to be buy two, get back $4 in Walgreens cash. We have a three off two digital coupon that we can use right now on this deal. So what I have been doing is I've not really been doing Colgate in store. 
I've been saving my digitals for early activation deals. And I have two accounts and there's, I know it says that you shouldn't have two accounts, but I mean, they're not going to penalize me if I have a Walgreens account and I meet a man that has a Walgreens account when we get married and move into together and we still use our own accounts. You know what I mean? So anyways, I would encourage you to get a second account and you could save one of them for early activation deals if you really like to do early activation deals. So you would pay or you would buy two for $7.98, use that three off two digital coupon, pay $4.98 get back $9 in Walgreens cash. I got it right on the graphic this week. And that would make both of them free and a 402 moneymaker. So that's definitely something to think about, but this one you can do in store Saturday night. You can do it as a curbside pickup the next day, or you can do it shipped to home. Either way, you can do. Now this is the King C. Gillette Razor items. They're spend 20, get back $10 in Walgreens cash this week. And next week, it will be the same. So there's also a $3 off Gillette digital coupon that we can use on this because those are Gillette razors and the coupon always attaches to those items. So I'm going to do this as ship to home because my store doesn't carry that one razor. Um, but anyways, I'm going to pick up one of those neck razors for $14.99 and I'm going to pick up the beard thickener for $12.99. Then I'm going to use that $3 off digital coupon. So then I'm going to pay $24.98, get back $20 in Walgreens cash, making it $4.98 for both of them or $2.49 a piece. And I think that is an excellent deal. And if you were to do the deal by itself, you would not be able to use Walgreens cash. So that is all I have for you today, guys. I do have one point that I want to mention. So I have always been under the assumption, it doesn't say anywhere in the coupon policy, that when you are picking up a curbside pickup order and you're using a spend booster, you won't get your spend booster unless you've met your threshold after you use your coupons. So if you have a spend 20, you get five and you get some items and they have coupons, you still have to be at $20 to get that. And that has never been the case for me. And it doesn't say anywhere in the coupon policy that this is what's supposed to happen. So as creators, we all have different ways of doing things and instructing you viewers. So please don't attack other creators that may do something differently than certain creators that you watch. There's no reason to be rude if you are seeing something you don't agree with. So, like I said, that that has never been stated in the policy. This has always happened when I have bought things and used a spend booster and coupons as a curbside pickup order. No rules are being broken there, so there is no need to attack other creators because we are just like you guys. We are no different. We just happen to make videos to earn a living. Um, so please don't attack other creators. We are all trying our best. So that is really all I have today, guys. I just want to keep this space positive and, you know, supportive and uplifting. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.